Welcome to Bar Talk Sports. And today I have a wonderful guest with me, Jose Sanchez, otherwise known as Broly Boli on yes. Twitch. Jose. What's up? How are you feeling? Feeling good, man. I'm glad I'm glad I'm here. Thank you for, for inviting me. Appreciate no it. It's great to have you along. So, Jose, mm -hmm. you started off, you know, as a youngster, you were playing baseball. Yeah. And then at some point in your life, you're like, this isn't for me anymore. And then you turn to gaming. Why yeah. is that? With baseball and uh, with gaming, I've been doing it all my life, right? Ever since I was in T-ball, right? It was a PSP, Game Boy. So doing the gaming on the side and then I would go and uh, practice with my dad. Um, so I would try to correlate both in together. Um, PSP, got yeah, a baseball game and whatnot. But what I liked about it is it would get your mind off of the world, right? Everything going around, you know, if it was bad or if it was good, I was entertained, I was distracted, I was busy, I was doing something. My dad really pushed me like really hard to do it. You know, I was the next uh, Manny Ramirez, man. I was like, I was supposed to be this very big uh, superstar that my dad was training me, you know, waking me up early, make, making me eat eggs. It was, it was intense. Like, I was just a kid. I wanted to do kid things. So with baseball, you know, getting, you know, aches and pains and all that stuff, I just blew up and I told my dad I did not want to do it anymore. I didn't find it, you know, I didn't like it anymore, you know. So then I went to my second love, which was gaming. What are your goals when it comes to financially benefiting from streaming? I don't know. I mean, anybody would like to drive, I mean, a Ferrari or, or a Tesla to work or, or to even say, hey, I'm working right now, but you're actually streaming. So that was, that was the big takeaway was from, you know, not, at least in my opinion, everyone hates school, honestly. I mean, you're just going through school and you're like, I, I gotta go into this period, into that period. And it's just, uh, streaming, you wake up, you press on a button, do a little clicks, change your titles, you know, put out a couple of promotions, boom, you're getting paid. People are flooding in. And, and, and the beautiful thing about that, it's more of passive income. I mean, you do, you do have to invest in um, you know, certain edits, make your thing look alive and attractive. And like, man, this guy's a new streamer. Or he's you know, fresh content. Let me see what he does. And then when you attract those and then they hear the conversations you have or um, you know, if you're playing 2K, NBA 2K, you know, they wanna see that content. They wanna see if you're good. So it's like two ways on stream to make money, right? You either have to be very good at the game or you have to be very attractive. Now I'm kind of in the middle of the two, you know what I mean? So I, I, I get to benefit off that, but, um, but definitely to make the amount of money that they make a month, you know, they make probably 100,000 a month, maybe even more, you know, if you're not counting donations, that's, it's insane. So I wanna be where I could live comfortably and wake up, go to work, and it's right at my computer desk. You are tuning in to Bar Talk Sports. I'm your host, Austin Ramos, and I'm here with Jose Sanchez, Mr. Forehead Gang himself. Yes. Now, Jose, you mentioned your grind with baseball and how kind of streaming is a grind. Mm -hmm. How do you move that into that field? There's a lot that goes into streaming. I mean, people don't see it. You know, they only see you if you stream for two, four, five hours, whatever it may be. They only see you for that amount of time, but they don't see what happens behind, you know, before and the after. Um, as opposed to me, if I want to catch those people up early in the morning, say, you know, four o'clock, there's some people who are up, some people who are sleeping, but I want to broaden my audience. I have to wake up early and I have to be that, that guy, that, that same energy, very, you know, like attentive to the chat very explosive, you know, hey, how you, got, how you guys doing? You know, hey, I'm up, what's up, I'm streaming. People like that type of energy. You know, you know you're not gonna turn on the computer and see a guy streaming at five o'clock in the morning. He's, you know, like very tired and groggy as, as opposed to just any regular person that would wake up and wanna watch it. They don't want that energy, they wanna be uplifted. So having, having to wake up early, having to go to sleep very late, I'm trying to get everybody. You know, some people are up early in the morning, some people are still up at night, and I wanna get everybody. So the grind is basically only sleeping like four hours, four to five hours, then then waking up the next day and saying, okay, what new game do I play? What new title do I put in? Um, you know, new overlays. Hey, it's Valentine's. 
we have to change it up. I have to make this look lovely. Halloween, I got to make it look scary. Christmas, I got to put a beard on. Actually, this past Christmas, uh, I had a big beard and I actually made it white. Wow. That was, that was funny, you know? But all these things, people don't, people don't think you just click a button and say, hey, now I'm making money. Like, you have to put in the work. You know, and the same thing with baseball. You're not just going to go from, you know, low A to triple A, then to MLB, and now you're Hall of Famer. Like, it doesn't, you don't skip any of that. You have to go through the work. You have to wake up early. You have to eat right. It's the same thing with streaming. I have to stretch every now and then because I'm sitting on my butt all the time. The big titles when it comes to streaming have mm -hmm. been recently Fortnite, Call mm -hmm. of Duty Warzone, and then Call of Duty Cold War. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself playing those games or... Would you rather stream what you want? Um, I try to do a little bit of both. I like to stream what I want. Um, what really gets me is uh, South Park, right? Uh, I mean, the language alone is incredible. I mean, it, it's kind of how I talk. Like, we both talk like, like sailors. But um, if I want something more competitive, I would play either Call of Duty Warzone, right? Because... Um, they they match of what level you're at and then it'll match you with people similar or even better than you so that's like a competitive edge and you have to be really good that's if you're really good if you're trash then you're gonna deal with trash people and you're gonna stay where you're at but with warzone there's that and then there's fortnite fortnite's my game i mean you know if you, you put me on a keyboard i can't be touched i'm sorry you know no matter if you have two controllers two different keyboards you have a, a cheating hack I don't care. Like I'm, I'm, I know that game, and I'm very competitive at that game. That I, you know, would do wages. You know, it wouldn't be like real money, but like just hey, I'll bet you a hundred bucks or whatever, and I would win. And then we like we just laugh it off. Like if it was me and my friend, or we'd just be like a random person in the lobby. Um, we'll do wages, <clears throat> and after so say you go ten rounds. And if you would kill them one time, you would just start screaming, start you know, saying like the craziest things. So you want to get into their head, you know, and I like that competitive oomph about it. So you mentioned how you like that competitive aspect. Mm -hmm. How are you trying to turn that into possibly just streaming only or is it heading more towards a competitive side of esports? Well, I, I would not mind being part of a team. If, if Orlando has like an eSports team uh, for Fortnite, you know, how they do, um, uh, you know, TwitchCon, they had like something to do with uh, Fortnite where they would have, you know, a professional streamer and then an actual professional athlete, which is like pro-am, so it's like professional amateur, have them both team up and then put in a lobby with other famous people, uh, other famous athletes. So that would be like the goal, to be part of a team competitive team here in Orlando or whatnot, wherever it might be, and then start competing across the nation and maybe the world, if I'm that good. Because I'm good, but then there's people who are good that I play from when they wake up to they go to sleep. And I just play, you know, it's like an hour before I go to sleep. I'm just bored. You know, and people are like, they just have a lot of time on that game. I don't, but yeah, the competitiveness, I love it. How does your commitment level to probably becoming in that area of uh, esports? Do you feel like you need to be a little bit more, you know, gung ho on the ground? Yeah, uh, if if I were to eat, sleep, uh, die, Fortnite, uh, I could be really, really good. I, I feel this is probably me boasting, you know, tooting my own horn or whatnot. I could match to Ninja because everyone compared now to Ninja is way better. You know, he's just an entertainer with blue hair. Uh, as opposed to me, I would have to wake up and then play the game and then know about, you know, the certain weapons that are good now. What's the meta? How are people moving across the map? Like, these are things, it's not just a game. It's not just a battle royale of 100 people. You have to be the last one standing. There's different strategies to it. Like anything in life, you know, baseball, if it gets hit, you know, right field, then you got to see... Um, the first baseman kind of going into the outfielder and then the, the pitcher going to the first base, you know, things like that. Everything has to move and has to work. And if it doesn't work, you lose. You know, no one likes losing. Thank you for watching another episode of Bar Talk Sports. I'm your host, Austin Ramos. And I want to thank Jose Sanchez a lot yes. for thank you, being bro. on the show. It was my pleasure. Appreciate he's it. He's the leader of the Forehead Gang. Uh, he's also a Twitch streamer. You can find him at Broly at twitch.tv.
And for all of you guys watching at home, thank you very much.